What's up guys, Kiwis here and welcome back to another video. Um, this is a new type of video for my channel, so thank you for choosing to click on the video. Hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully you will stand safe as well. As you can tell by the title, it is going to be a tier list. Um, I'm a tier list maker. It's worked really well actually, weren't sure how it would do, but yeah, it's nice and simple to use. So, if you did want to do tier lists, then I'd def definitely uh, recommend using this website. It's been brilliant for me. I wish that was an ad, but it's not, it's just been a good website. Um, yeah, obviously, going to be controversial shouts here. I've only gone for five um, different categories. I've gone for insane, great, okay, poor, and just bad. Bad might be a bit harsh, but like bad, unusable, pointless, I mean any of the above. I'm just going to do um, in order of what I've got down here. I've gone for all of the Premier League ones, plus the um, players from the Prem in the community team of the season as well. I've not gone for Jimenez. Or Maguire though that were objective and SBCs. So, because not everyone got them. Um, I did include Ndidi though, just because he's a beast. But I'm going to start off with Aguero. Not, I don't know what it is about Aguero. But for me on FIFA, no matter how good his card is. All the way since back like FIFA 17. No matter how good his card is. He's never been, in, he's never been insane. He's never been brilliant. He's always been good. But he's never been insane. So I'm going to put him in great. He's definitely better than okay. But he's not insane for me on this game. Alisson. Um, Alisson. I mean if my mouse would work. Alisson can go in okay. Like he's a goalkeeper. He's a good goalkeeper. I use him in my team. He's a brilliant shot stopper. But he's horrendous at crosses. So he's okay. Anderson. Again there's going to be a lot of okays by the way guys. Anderson. Again. Okay. For me he's not great. Because he can't shoot. I've used him in draft quite a lot. Um, he's insane on the ball, like turning, sprinting, brilliant, but he can't shoot, so he's okay for me. Wan Bissaka, um, I don't know, is Wan Bissaka okay or is he great? Because he's brilliant, but he's got a two star weak foot. I'm not sure personally. I'll, I'll put Wan Bissaka in great, he's one of the best right backs on the game. A lot of people don't have an issue with a two star weak foot as a full back as well, I personally do. But I'll put him as there anyway. Oh, Facebook notification. Um, De Bruyne, I mean, just insane. Literally, probably the best card we've ever seen on any FIFA. Um, I don't think there's a probably about it. I think he is. Whether he plays like it or not, like compared to the Primer Hullips and that, because icons are just, you know, broken on this game. But yeah, the stats, just everything about De Bruyne clearly says best, like, absolutely insane. Henderson, uh, no, yeah, that is Henderson. Henderson's just bad. Like, look, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of goalkeepers on this game. I, I usually decide if they're good, it's because the game wants them to be good. If they're bad, it's because the game wants them to be bad. But Henderson, in terms of team of the seasons and getting team of the seasons, he's just, nobody wants him. No, there's better goalkeepers out there and nobody wants a Henderson. There's a reason it goes for like 30k. Next, Fernandinho. People might question this. But used him in my team, I actually think he's poor. I don't like Fernandinho whatsoever. His stats are okay. They're, they're good stats. His pace isn't brilliant. But my biggest issue is that I'd only play him with CDM. He's not good enough as a centre mid attacking or obviously further forward. So for me, it'd only be a CDM. And he's got a really thin body type in game. Really small body type. Like, he's got no muscle or anything. So for me, he gets pushed off the ball by literally everybody. And as my CDM player... I don't want that, so I genuinely think this Fernandinho is poor. Joe Gomez, insane. Um, use him in draft a couple of times, too expensive for my team. He's like 1.7 mil, can't afford him for my team. But he's an absolute beast. There is a reason he's 1.7 mil, and yeah, just insane for me. Jordan Henderson, again, people are going to find this controversial, very. All Liverpool fans are out there, I'm sure there's a lot of people that use him in their team. Didn't like him. Couldn't get on with him. I actually think he's poor. I don't know what it is. Because he's got phenomenal stats in game. Um, in game and on his card. Couldn't get on with him. Don't know what it was. I felt like he was really heavy on the ball. Um, I honestly don't know why. Because as I said, his stats were brilliant. But his first touch and his touches when dribbling for me were horrendous. And somebody with a high, high work rate that I would like as a box-to-box -box midfielder. I'd feel like his touches and his dribbling was so poor that I bought him. Um, I got him as a red card in my team and I actually stopped using him because I didn't like him. However, this next one I think is brilliant. 
Henderson for 500k or Kovacic for 180k, I would go for a, Hovic, uh, a Kovacic 100% of the time. I thought this card was brilliant. I don't know because he's got over 90, um, 90 plus in agility and balance, but he was insane for me. Um, a few people don't like him, but I've not had a single issue with him. His finishing at only 70 could be a bit of an issue, but he's 4 star, 4 star and high high. Absolutely brilliant for me. Leno, um, I mean, he could be bad again. Like, you could put him in poor again. It's harsh. As an Arsenal fan, I love Leno in real life. Um, same as Henderson, obviously deserved at 100% in real life, but in terms of FIFA... They're, they're bad goalkeepers, like, there's better out there, they're cheap for a reason, and goalkeepers really aren't that great on the game overall anyway. Next, Mane, insane. Um, his stats are all around phenomenal. Problem is, 4 star, 4 star could be a problem. Um, obviously, for me, if I'm paying like 2 million plus for a card that's a forward, I'd probably want somebody with a 5 star weak foot. But that being said, if you're playing him on the wing or in cam or somewhere, then he'd be absolutely insane. And Didi, insane as well. Genuine. Um, yeah, people are, people are going to get triggered by these pictures not being at the bottom. Because there's a little gap underneath on the way that I saved the picture. And yeah, that's why they're not in the middle where they should be like there. But Ndidi for me has been absolutely incredible. Like, the price of his SBC as well, I feel, was so cheap compared to a lot of other SBCs. And he just, he breaks the play up so well. For a big guy as well, he's got a big body type, he turns quite quickly. But as an actual, as an out and out CDM, he is one of the best that I've used on the game. So, for me, he's insane. Aubameyang might be a bit harsh, but I think he's okay. Any player, any forward on this game that's above 6 foot, in my opinion, doesn't turn that well. And the fact that Aubameyang is 6 foot 2 in game, he just doesn't turn well at all. Balance and agility aren't that high either, especially his balance. So, I don't know if that's what it is. His shot's really good and he does feel quick, but against good opponents where you need to turn and you need to create chances with quick turns, I just don't like Aubameyang. And for his price, I don't think he's worth it. Same as Rashford. Again, six foot one, got him as a red card, don't enjoy him whatsoever. He's also got a three-star weak foot, which isn't good in my opinion on this game if you've got to have unbelievable stats um, to be able to be used with a three star week foot in my opinion because three star at least four star is big on fifa 20 matter so he's okay for me again a lot of my new fans probably won't like that decision but not a fan richarlison um I'd, is he great is he okay i'm gonna put him in great because he's got the five star weak foot Again, 5-star, 4-star, 5-star weak foot on this game is huge. The fact that he's got a big body type is a bit of an issue because he doesn't turn that quickly. Like players that are 6 foot plus, if you've got a big body type in game, I don't like you. Um, ben Yedder is a perfect example. Ben Yedder's small, but because he's fat and he's stocky, I don't like him. But the fact that he's got the 5-star weak foot on this game is huge and his finishing is brilliant. Mares, for me, has been absolutely incredible. Mares for me has been insane. Ranking players like Ndidi and De Bruyne in the same rank might be a little bit harsh to someone like De Bruyne, but for me, Mares has been incredible as well. It's very rare that you get somebody on this game that feels like their stats say. As I say, six foot plus players never do. Mares on the ball feels incredible. His turning and quick sprints and that are so good that um, I've used very few players on the whole game with how bad the serves and gameplay are, where people actually feel quick turning, and Mahrez has done that for me. Five-star skill moves as well, four-star weak foot. Um, he was brilliant for me. Van Dijk? Uh, not Van Dijk, Robertson, sorry. Where is Robertson? Robertson's okay. He's, he's not great. He's definitely not great, but I think poor would be harsh. Um... Yeah, he's got a two-star weak foot. Again, two-star weak foot for me. And he's, he's got a small body type. As a fullback, he's got a small body type. I've used his team of the year in my team for 800 games now. And I still don't like him that much. He's in the team because he's a team of the year card. So he's still better than most fullbacks. But I'm not the biggest fan. And the fact that he's got a small body type does mean that he gets outstrengthed a lot. And he I do lose the ball and in dangerous positions a lot because of that. Salah... Salah's dodgy as well, because Salah's stats are insane, but his 3-star weak foot makes such a difference. Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna put Salah in okay. Might seem harsh, but just three star weak foot as a striker for me just isn't good enough. They're so easy to read against bad players or people that you're a lot better than. It'll be perfect because they don't tend to read you that well. But like it's just predictable. If you play somebody good, they know he's going on his left foot. So for me, he's okay. Might be harsh. He could go into great, but I'm going to put him into okay because of that three star weak foot. Sonaldo, pretty much exactly the same as Richarlison for me. Pretty much exactly the same as what I said with him. Five star weak foot, brilliant. He's got quite a big body type in game, so he doesn't feel overly brilliant when it comes to agility, balance, turning and that. But his shot is absolutely incredible. If you want someone to literally just stand up front and shoot with either left foot or right foot and score, then Sun is still brilliant. Sionku, um, poor. N not a fan whatsoever. His stats are good, but again, don't know if it's because he's got quite a big body type in game, but I'm not a fan. Um, there's not much to say really, just didn't get on with him. He's good, but I mean, he's not good. <laughs> he's, he's not good, I can't say he's good, I just, I didn't enjoy him. Next, Alexander-Arnold. Um, great for me, a bit like wan -Bissaka. I personally would have Trent above wan because Trent's got a four-star weak foot and um, wan -Bissaka doesn't. But Trent, a bit like Robertson, is quite skinny in game, so he doesn't win all the tackles in the world and gets out strength a bit, but I found that uh, Trent played a lot better than Robertson in game. Um, Van Dijk, again, insane. Anyone that plays this game knows what Van Dijk's like. Although his agility and balance isn't the highest for a centre-back, he's just an absolute brick wall. Um, anyone that's played FIFA 20 knows how tough it is to get past Van Dijk. Um, so yeah, Vardy, again. Vardy's hard because I loved Vardy until I came up against somebody that was good. So, like Salah, it's going to go in okay. I absolutely love Vardy for like the first six games of champs. And then I played two good people in a row where Vardy on his right foot was just very readable. He doesn't have three star skill. Uh, he doesn't have four star skills. He only has three, which is a problem for me because I use the scoop turn a lot. And his four star weak foot for me felt like a lie. I don't know if it's because he had a uh, three star weak foot and it got boosted to four star and maybe in game it didn't actually get the boost. But for me, he could not score on his left foot whatsoever. There was a game that I nearly lost because he missed about four sitters just on his left foot. So for that reason, it's going to go okay. If you want somebody against bad players to pick the ball up, run and finish on his right foot, then he was brilliant. But against somebody good where you need both feet, wasn't good enough. Zaha, again, pretty much exactly the same as um, Anderson for me. Brilliant on the ball, but couldn't shoot and he's got a three-star weak foot. So he's okay, but just nothing special. He could go into poor in all honesty. If I'm comparing Anderson and Zaha, I'd definitely rather Anderson. Um, he's got, he just fell a lot better than Zaha and Anderson's got the four star weak foot where Zaha doesn't. Henderson might be harsh in there, but you know, I'm sticking with it. And Adama, I'm not the biggest fan of Adama. I'm sure a lot of people have him due to red rewards. A lot of people got him. I got him as well. Not the biggest fan. He's got really bad composure, really bad reactions. He's got poor finishing at only 82 and he's got a three star weak foot, which is awful in itself. And it was boosted from a two star. So does it feel like a three star? I don't really know. I've used him for a couple of games. Didn't enjoy him at all. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Obviously, everybody's going to have a different opinion. If you don't agree with me, put in the comments why. Like, I know a lot of people will love Jordan Henderson. I just personally couldn't get on with him at all. Um, players like Aubameyang, I know some people say are insane. But I just... I can get on with them. But yeah, that's my tier list. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's a different video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to start doing a lot more tier lists on stream. Um, Twitch.tv slash X underscore Sour underscore Kiwis. Come follow me in there if you wanted to watch me do them live. But yeah, as always, thank you for watching. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Then that would be really appreciated. That's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thank you all for watching.